Good job, Microsoft. Good fucking job. For tarnishing your brand even further. First off, if you're an Xbox fanboy, cut out the video right now. You're not gonna like anything I'm gonna say. Cause yes, this is a rant video about Microsoft recently, today, canceling their most ambitious title for 2017, Platinum Games' Scalebound. I'm pissed. <laughs> for lack of a better word, I'm pissed. Um, this was a game that looked very ambitious for the Xbox One, and I will be completely honest, if it came out, I'd buy an Xbox One for it. I've been looking forward to the game for a while, um, I've had some issues with it, like I wanted to see more, you know, but I've always been curious about it. Big Platinum Games fan, big Hideki Kamiya fan. Um, you know, when he was at Capcom, he made Devil May Cry, he made Okami, he made Beautiful Joe. Fast forward to Platinum Games, you know, Bayonetta 1, uh, Bayonetta 2, Wonderful 101, you know, um, Hideki Kamiya and Platinum Games and his teams that he's had, they've made some amazing content over the years. Um, and it's just, I mean, I don't know what Microsoft is thinking. But this is bullshit. This is just... Why? Why was this cancelled? You hyped it up for several E3s. You, you, you delayed it further. You were hyping it as your big 2017 game. But, you know, now it's gone. But thank God we got Halo. We got more Halo. We got Crackdown. We got more Forza, you know. Come on. What are you guys doing? Microsoft's... I... Their, their history as of late has been all over the place. I don't understand what they're doing anymore. There's no exclusives no more for Xbox One. It, it's all going to Windows 10. And the few things they shared, the Microsoft-owned games, are all the same stuff. Halo, Gears, Forza. They're big three. And they have a couple random games here and there. Um, like Crackdown and like Sea of Thieves. That's it. Um... Even when they have games that aren't those, they underperform because they don't try. They don't try with the games. ReCore? ReCore failed because they didn't even try to advertise it or hype it up. I just, I don't understand what they're doing anymore. Canceling the latest Fable game. Closing down the studio that makes the Fable games. I just, I don't understand anything they're doing anymore. Um, their response is to cancel this game, close that studio, um, make everything on Windows 10. I mean, it's just, there's no reason to own an Xbox One anymore. There really isn't. You could buy a Windows 10 PC and play all your games there with an Xbox controller and still have other stuff to be able to do that the Xbox One can never do. I... I don't know. I thought this would be the first generation where I owned all the big systems. I've never been much of an Xbox fan. Because I am more of a fan of Japanese games. I'm more of a fan of uh, action games, platforming games, role-playing games, you know, things like that, adventure games. I'm not a fan of just constant shooters and racing games. Um... And it's just, it, it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. People wanted the game. People were excited about Scalebound. And it's just, it, it's just, it's it's just a middle finger to them. I wonder what's up with Platinum Games. Because Hideki Kamiya, he's usually very active on Twitter. And he hasn't been active lately. Which is really troubling. Then the fact that Microsoft is now pulling down. I saw this right before I went to make this video. Microsoft is now pulling down all content related to Scalebound from their YouTube channels and their social media. All the game trailers and gameplay gone. And why? Whenever a game is canceled by other companies, they don't usually do that. They cancel the game and it's done over with, but they, they leave the history behind. They don't go back to trailers from two years ago 
And I just said, okay, we're gonna move those from each other. Yeah. They don't ever do that. They leave the history there. This tells me something else is more troubling. There was probably something that went wrong with the deal between Microsoft and Platinum Games. Microsoft probably got greedy as hell. It was like, you know, you know, we, we you know, we, we, we want a full rights to this. We want to do this with the game, and the game. Platinum was probably like, no, this is our project. We're already, you, 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 we're already doing exclusive to Xbox One for you guys. You know, um, let us do it. You know, the Xbox One was, I mean, I mean, I mean, Microsoft was probably like, well, we, you know, to get the Xbox One, you got to have it by this date, giving them deadlines. Um, the Xbox One probably could not handle the game as well as it could have if it was on the PS4. Because let's all be honest here, the PS4 is a more powerful system than the Xbox One. They are similar, yes, but under the hood, PS4 is more powerful. Um, you can be an Xbox fanboy all you want. You can have the Xbox One as your favorite system. That's great. Have fun with it. But if you sit there and tell me Xbox One is more powerful than the PS4, you are flat out wrong. There's no opinions with that. It's just, and factually, you are wrong. It's just that simple. Um, so there may have been problems running on the Xbox One because, you know, Microsoft gave Platinum several bags of money and was like, here, you know, make it for this system, our system only, no one else. So uh, Platinum probably, Platinum probably could not meet the deadline because they were having issues developing on the Xbox One. Um, Microsoft's probably pressuring them, pressuring them, pressuring them. Uh, Hideki Kamiya, knowing how he is, he probably got pissed because he doesn't let anyone control him. I A lot of people hate Hideki Kamiya for the way he acts. I actually admire him for being able to stand up for himself. He's, uh, you know, he's a really, I, 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 he has some balls. And honestly, you need that in this, in this world, in this day and age. Um, it's better than having someone who just, you know, is a corporate suit and, you know, bends over backwards to please people that you don't give a shit about, you know. Um, Hideki Kamiya, he is who he is, he tells it like it is. If he doesn't like something, it's, it's known. Um, and I like that about him. So he probably didn't like what Microsoft was doing. It was probably battles back and forth, and Microsoft probably just said, fuck it, you know, we're canceling the game. We're not funding it anymore. We're taking back all our resources for it. Screw you guys. And Platinum was like, all right, well then remove everything off the channel. You can, you own nothing for scale bomb anymore. That's probably what happened. That's just my speculation. Um, so what's in the future for all these companies? So what's in the future for Platinum? What's in the future for Microsoft? And what's in the future for the game of scale bomb? Well, Microsoft. I'm be honest. I'm not buying an Xbox One anymore. This just this is this whole generation with Microsoft. After everything they've done, it's just misstep after misstep after misstep. They're so out of touch with gamers. Um, they don't even try anything anymore. They don't try to improve a game. They don't try to mass market a game. They just cancel it and move on, or they just drop it, you know, dead on arrival, like Recore, and just move on. They don't care. They don't put the effort that Nintendo and Sony puts into their games. Um. Near Automata on the PS4 and another Platinum Games game that's exclusive to the PS4. I guarantee you, Platinum and Sony are going to market Platinum, Sony, and Square Enix. I forgot Square Enix is the one publishing it, but they're all going to market the shit out of that game. They already are marketing the crap out of the game. Actually, I guarantee you, the game's going to be successful. Is it going to be some 10 million seller like Pokemon or Call of Duty or Grand Theft Auto? No. But is it going to sell a million or two, maybe three? Of course, it will. Watch and see. Why? Because they put the effort. They put the demo on the on on the on the PlayStation Store. They they have shown it off at events. They're constantly promoting it, marketing it. That's what they're doing. Scalebound. There's been radio silence on Scalebound outside of the big E3 hype. Um, and Microsoft saying, "Oh, it's going to be part of our big 2017 lineup." Big part of 2017. That's all they've said. They haven't really marketed it. And the problem with that is they don't like I say they don't try. Japanese games have never done well on Xbox systems. Why? Because the audience for it is not there. Why is the audience not there? Because Microsoft has not lifted a single fi finger to pull them over. And that's sad. You can't just drop a system off in Japan like they've done for their systems lately and just expect it to sell because the game system because we're Microsoft. No. Xbox fails in Japan. And even here in the West, when, when it comes to like Japanese games, Japanese games sell a shit ton better on PS4 and even Nintendo systems. Um, Final Fantasy 15, biggest example. Um, like, how much? I forgot how what it was the rate, the ratio of it was. 
it was like four to one. <laughs> four to one PS4 to Xbox One of the copies that were sold that game. It's insane. It's like 75% of that game was sold on PS4 alone. You know? Um, honestly, I think what needs to happen is I think Nintendo or Sony, either one, I'm fine with either one, needs to get in contact with Platinum Games. Say, hey, we'll, um, you know, we're sorry you got burned by Microsoft. Let us help you fund the game and resume development and release it on our system. That's what they need to do. They need to pull a Bayonetta 2 with it. Because Bayonetta 2, same situation. No one wanted to fund the game. And, um, you know, Sega was running out of money. And they decided to axe several projects, Bayonetta 2 being one of them. So Platinum could even get the game started when they wanted to. And Sony said no. Microsoft said no. Square Enix said no. Capcom said no. All the big companies said no. Nintendo approached them and said, we got a new system coming out, the Wii U at the time. We want this game in our system. We know we know you're passionate developers. We'll fund the game. We'll help you develop it. And we'll market the hell out of it. And Bayonetta 2 was a huge success. Over a million copies uh, sold worldwide. Um, and it was it's one of the biggest third-party games on the Wii U on a system that doesn't have a lot of third-party games to begin with. And... A third-party game that is not Nintendo, a mature rated title, selling over a million on a system with a 13 million user base, that's fantastic when you really think about those numbers. That's actually really fantastic. If it was the Wii instead, which sold over 100 mil, um, that game would have probably sold over 5 mil, <laughs> you know, because it had a bigger bigger user base. Um, it's just, it's, so it's actually impressive what they did on the Wii U. Um, so to have Scalebound come to the Switch or the PS4, would work out better for it anyways because of a bigger audience there. Um, now, whether that will happen, I don't know. Um, I, 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 can't, I can foresee it going either way. I can foresee another company picking it up. I could foresee the game just never coming out. It's finally done. Um, and personally, I mean, I would be sad if it was forever done. So I hope Nintendo or Sony scoops it up. What's next for Microsoft? I think, honestly, at this point, they don't know what the hell to do with their Xbox brand. I think they just need to consolidate it and get rid of the consoles in general. They're hyping up Project Scorpio. No, Scorpio, Scorpio. It's going to be six teraflop, whatever the hell they're saying. I don't know. I don't know about specs, but okay, that's fine. But will there be exclusive games for it outside of Halo, Gears, and Forza? Will there? Will there be other studios on, on board? Other third-party games? Games that might be exclusive or take advantage of Xbox Scorpio in the way that Windows 10 and, and the original Xbox One cannot? I doubt it, because they haven't said anything about that. So, I, I really don't know. I think, X, I think Microsoft needs to slim down the Xbox One brand. I think the few properties they have, like Halo and Forza, I think they need to just make the Xbox One brand part of Windows 10, just consolidate with the Windows brand, and they need to just release their games, the few games they have on, on Windows 10, and potentially maybe Steam and PS4 and stuff. I, I think, pe people keep saying Nintendo needs to go third party. I think Microsoft needs to go third party with their games. I just, I, I, I think they need to. Um, because at this point, they don't know what the hell they're doing with Xbox. They don't know what they're doing. They really don't. And this is just another move that, again, I just, it, it really sucks. I am very upset about, about this. Um, yeah, and like I said, you guys can call me salty, you can call me, you know, crying noob, pussy, whatever, you know, whiny baby, whatever you want to call me, it's cool, whatever, I don't care. Uh, my thing, though, is I have a legitimate reason to actually be disappointed by this move, and, um, I've explained my reasoning why, because I'm a big Platinum Games fan, big Bayonetta fan, big Devil May Cry fan, I'm a big fan of those types of games, I'm a big fan of big action games, especially when they're made by Platinum Games. And I feel bad for Platinum Games and Hideki Kamiya because Hideki Kamiya really seemed excited to get this game out there. So I hope another company can snatch it up and he can he can have his dream of this of getting this game out there. Um, because he's a, he's a talented director and with a talented team. And like I said, Platinum Games, if I, if I were to go on record, I would say they would be in one of my top five developers if not top three i love platinum games i try to support them as much as i can i i'm very interested in uh the new near game coming to ps4 so that's going to be in the next month or two so yeah um i mean 
I don't know. I don't know what else is more to say than I'm just disappointed by this. I think Microsoft is wrong for this. I feel so bad for Platinum Games, and I hope the game gets picked up. And honestly, I mean, I just, I just don't know. Microsoft, I don't know what else to say to you guys. Just this whole generation, you've been back and forth on things and just one step forward, two steps back. And I'm done. I just, I can't wait around anymore for your system to get better. I'm not going to get an Xbox One now. I'm fine with my PS4. I've been fine with my Wii U. I'm going to be fine with the Switch. 3DS. PS Vita. And I'll be fine with that. It's not just me, either. Let me show you other gamers that are also disappointed by this move. Because then you'll know, it's not just me.